For more MTG resources and articles, check out paperchampion.net. Okay, so we are playing Artifact Storm today. And, yes, we do want to go first. Okay. Mm, looks okay. Not great, but I got the twisted... Uh, that's not really what I wanted. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to mulligan this. Okay, this is a, a bit better, so let's keep this. And Hallowed Fountain is okay. Sure, so let's go Hallowed Fountain, un uh, tapped. Okay. Okay, so say hello to our opponent. Opponent's playing green for Dryad Militant. Okay. And we'll go with a... Uh, let's go with a uh, Glimmer Void. Tapping for... Lightning Greaves. Okay, and then we can put the Lightning Greaves on our Pure Steel Paladin and protect him from any sort of removal there. And then, once we get the... Uh, lightning degrees on him. We can start. We can put out the kite shield and see if we can draw into our win conditions. Then, okay, strangle root geist. All right. All right. We might have a hard time going up against this deck here because it's coming out pretty fast. All right. So let's play. Um, Hallowed fountain. Tapped. We'll go with uh, Pure Steel Paladin. Okay, and we'll throw the Kite Shield. Okay. Now let's go Always Yes for now, Always Yield. Save, save us some time. A land's not bad. Bone Saw. Okay, draw us another card. And a planes. Alright. Well, let's go uh equip. Oh no! I did it the wrong wrong way. Oh no. Now I can't equip anything else to him. Stupid, stupid. Alright, well, I'll just have to play it out like this, I guess. That's a punt, and hopefully that doesn't cost me the game. I should have put the other things on him first. Ah, oh, stupid. Alright, so hopefully you can hold something back here. He'll still attack, because he knows I don't want to lose that. Alright, well, I'll have to take it. Stupid. Ugh. Oh. Alright. And there's some pump spell. No, he's just going to swing. Okay, so it's coming out. Dungrove Elder? Yeah, okay. Alright, Twisted Image is not going to help us. Alright, uh, I think I'm pretty dead here. Okay, again, it would have been better. I would have had a chance had I put the uh, Kite Shield and Bone Saw on, that g on Pure Steel, because then he would have been um, like a 3 5 with Shroud and Haste. Right, so now I just gotta take my beats here, and I gotta take eight damage, which is gonna be really hard to deal with here. And yeah, there we go, and that's for twelve, and I'm just done. All right, so concede. All right. So now we know we're dealing with a really fast green aggro type deck here. All right, so let's throw out. Twisted Image I don't think is particularly good in this case. Let's go to Ensnaring Bridge. And um, Negate wouldn't be too bad. But I think we're okay like this. Alright, let's try it out. Man, that was a serious punt. Just leaving, uh, putting the, the those boots on him so quickly. 
Would you like to play first? Yes, I would. All right, well, I got the Paladin and the Gavalier out, so that's good. Okay, so turn one, Gavalier, turn two, Paladin into the Spider Silk Net, and then start drawing. Okay, so we'll keep. Okay, so turn one, uh, we'll go Goblin Gavalier. Okay, go, so we'll go for my opponent. Experiment one, okay. Turn two, we'll go to Plains and get a Pure Steel Paladin out. Okay, draw a Spider Silk Net. Okay, always yes, always yield. Okay, Aether Flux Reservoirs, not bad. Okay, so I'm obviously I'm not going to attack with this. Okay, I'll lose my Gavalier or my Paladin. Okay, so next, I won't be even be able to cast this re Reservoir next turn. So I might just have to wait. Okay. So I got, oh, an, an alternate art experiment one, or a different art experiment one. Okay. Okay, so a Mox Opal's okay, but it's not in equipment. Um, but it does... Oh no, I don't it won't have metalcraft yet, so I won't be able to cast that. Okay, so I should cast now I don't think I can really do anything this turn. Um like I could equip that spider silk net, which is good. And maybe hold him off a little bit. So I think I'll just put out Hello Fountain now. Untapped. Okay, so we'll go and equip this to the Gavalier. Okay, give him uh, a little bit of blocking ability there. And then next turn I'll be able to play out the Mox Opal and Aetherflex Reservoir and so on and so forth there. So 3-3 um, three, three with Trample. Um, Alright, well let's swing. We'll see what happens. I don't think he's going to block all three. Okay. No, I didn't think so. Okay, so next turn, um, I'll be able to put out the Aetherflux Reservoir. Hopefully I'll draw into a zero mana um, equipment, and then I'll just be able to chain into it. Dungrove Elder, okay. Okay, everything is growing bigger. Okay, and this might be just too fast for us, but we'll see. He's going to swing for six. Oh, just for four, okay. All right. Okay, another Gavalier. Not really what I was looking for. But at least he's a chump blocker that I can use. All right, so let's go... Um, let's just go with Island. And we will get the Aetherflux Reservoir out. Okay, and then next turn I can cast a Mox Opal, Gavalier, and stuff like that, and I can start to uh, get some life back, and keep my opponent off his clock. Okay, so we will play this out, we'll just keep up these guys' blockers here. Hopefully I draw into a zero mana artifact, and then be able to actually start you know, pumping these things out, and get a chain going here. Okay, so going for four, uh, attacking for everything, alright. I will into open mana. I'm okay with going into open mana. Um, probably gonna die anyways, but that's okay. I'll just take out that experiment one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so on this turn I've got to start chaining into something. That's not bad. I'll take it. Okay, so let's go Gavalier. Okay, so I have to pay a life to get a red. Ugh. Okay, but I'm going to get it back from Aetherflux Reservoir. 
Okay. Okay. And then I'll cast a Mox Opal. Get a life back. Or two life back. Okay. Get a Paradise Mantle. Hopefully I'll chain into something else. Bone saw is good. Okay. Give me something else. Come on. Something. Yes, another bone saw. Okay. Spider silk net. I'll take it. Okay. And a hallowed fountain. All right. There's the end of the chain. All right. But still, back to 26 life is pretty good. All right, so let's go. We'll equip. Uh, let's see. We'll equip him. Goblin Gavalier. Give him some teeth there. Equip uh, Paradise Mantle to the Pure Steel Paladin, because I'm not going to block or attack with him, anyways. Equip. Okay. And equip. Okay, so I got a 9-3, which is actually okay. And, and 26 life isn't anything to laugh at either. So that's alright. Um, alright, well, let's see. Do I go to the attack? No, because I can't. Because I don't have haste. Alright, well, we'll play it out like this. All right, so Colonian Tusker, everything evolves, gets a bit bigger. Okay, but I can still block. If he attacks with the Dungrove Elder, I'll take out his Elder, because um, that's probably the biggest threat there. Okay, so is he going to attack with anything? Just as Experiment 1's, doing 9 damage. Oh, Stungrove Elder as well. Okay. I'll block. Okay. The equipment comes off of him, but that's alright. Kite Shield, alright. So, we'll get another life from Kite Shield. Come on, keep chaining. Or at least give me... Uh, nope. Okay, if I could get uh, basically um, the ability to, to draw these back into my hand, then that'd be great, because I could just then play out pretty much everything. Alright, so might as well equip this stuff. Pure Steel Paladin. Equip. Equip. Okay, and equip. Okay, so I got still 18 life, so it's not bad. Now, if I if I just draw into the right card, I could actually be doing really well here. So, okay, so he's gonna swing for 12 or 15. So I just need that paradoxical outcomes to come out. Okay, so I got a 4-7. I'm going to have to let it go. Okay, because... Oh, no, he's got no cards in hand. Oh! Declared blockers. Oh! He's got no cards in hand, so he had no combat tricks. Ugh, oh, stupid of me. Okay, so if I can get a paradoxical outcome, then I'm okay. So let's go Cathar Shield. Okay. Come on, chain, no land. Another Cathar shield. Okay, no land. Paradoxical outcome. Ah! Oh! All right. Well, I believe that's it. So concede. And well, 
Unfortunately, that's the way it rolls. So against these like fast aggro decks, it's kind of hard to win. But I think we could have if we just drew the right card. Perhaps I should have sideboarded more um, more artifact uh, return. But well, that's okay. Uh, anyways, if you do like these matches, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.